what he's saying is a bunch of lies. But not today. This is not what this video is about. Coach Greg in today's video, breaking news, Eddie Abu finally comes clean. In the past, he basically said that your entire life, that everything that's wrong about it, it's because of what you're eating. That if you cut out the carbs, control your insulin, that you can essentially do anything and everything you'll ever want in this world, in this universe. When it comes to genetics, things it's a bit confusing. Yeah. You know, it's not genetics. If you change your diet, you fix your testosterone. Yeah. I'm just thinking, where am I going to get all the eggs? And so he says, you know, it's not genetics. If you, in fact, change your diet, you'll fix your testosterone. That if you can't accomplish your goals, it comes down to what you're eating. And so we've seen him say in the past, you need to control your insulin, that anything that you eat, it's all sugar, whether it's from rice, potatoes, or fruits, vegetables, whatever, that that's going to affect your insulin and that that is why you're not building muscle, why you don't feel good, and so on. He says that calories in, calories out, that that's just make-believe. It's made up, that it's shit. 70% of the advice he gives is just not true. I'm not trying to hate. I was originally a fan of his until I started fact-checking his claims and the majority of them are just not scientifically true. Be careful not to spread misinformation, lads. Love the pod. And he coached me, he's talking to me about eggs. You can actually eat so many eggs that there's some of the guys who are taking steroids. It wouldn't need to take steroids because eggs are that yep. good at mm -hmm. building muscle. Really, Eddie? Really, you're trying to tell us that. And so if Eddie Abu had only discovered this advice long ago, he, he wouldn't have to abuse steroids, insulin, all that, right? The best is when he says, do your research. And then when you do, it goes completely against what he says. Remember, Eddie Abu is the same guy that says that whey protein is shit, that supplement companies are selling you shit, that whey protein, it just doesn't work. But when you go to fact check that, you realize he's full of shit, that whey protein, in fact, has a higher biological value than even eggs. And so what he's saying is a bunch of lies, but not today. This is not what this video is about. Eddie is finally coming clean and admitting what the real problem in his health actually is. I was a bodybuilder for a long time. I was taking the steroids, I was taking insulin, I was taking all the drugs. You don't realize that these things, these drugs, affect the wiring of your brain. You think you're okay, but you're not. And so to me, that is an honest message. He abused performance enhancing drugs, for example, steroids and insulin, and eventually enough was enough. He said he was hanging around assholes, that he himself was an asshole, and he stopped everything since 2017. Now, I don't know if that means he's including HRT or not. I don't know if he's on these things. But what he's saying is it altered his mind. It made him think differently. The hardwiring, it was 100% different when he was abusing steroids versus when he wasn't. Now, I've come out of it and I'm trying to use my knowledge to help people. But it was a stepping stone for me. I didn't realize how cook it is. And so all you young teenagers out there and you're thinking, hey, I'm looking up to guys like Chris Bumstead and Sam Sulik, all the freaks of nature, guys with the most muscle. And you're thinking, I'm going to call Copy them. They're making TikTok videos, abusing steroids, promoting and glorifying it. And Eddie is saying this is a horrible idea. Now, the one thing I don't like is in saying this, he's saying, well, if you eat a bunch of eggs, it'll build the same amount of muscle as if you're taking steroids. This is bullshit. It's not going to do that. But what is true is what he's saying that steroids did to him. I have many scars from bodybuilding. Some are visible and some aren't. And what that means to me is on the outside and on the inside. It could be perhaps that his pancreas, that his insulin, that his body can't control blood sugar the way it used to, that he perhaps had to completely change his diet. But what I do know is that he has very high glucose levels and that he can't eat sugars. Everything is sugar now to him. That the way he used to when he was a kid, does anyone think that it's healthy that you can't eat fruits? That for some reason you can't have rice, that it's going to do something bad to your body? I know what it takes to get to the level I got to. Hell, I prepped many champions over the years. Now I won't even attend competitions. This is partly because the bodybuilding I knew back in the day was different. He can't even attend a competition now. Coach Greg, for example, I go and watch as many bodybuilding competitions as I can. Going to the Olympia, going to the Arnold's, attending local competitions. 
I have a passion for the sport, but I do recognize the dangers, the dangers of taking and abusing performance enhancing drugs. I needed counseling after I came off everything in 2017. Eddie Abu was one of the best bodybuilders in the world. He was on the Olympia stage competing against Ronnie Coleman. Do you not think it affected him mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically? Of course it did. And so let that be a warning to you. And so as much as he preaches this message about the diets is what's wrong with society, that if we just change the way that we eat, that we would solve all world's problems. Do you think maybe a little bit that just maybe it might've been the fact he was abusing steroids and insulin, that if he had been a natural bodybuilder, remember this guy has amazing genetics. He could have had an amazing physique without touching anything. And if he had done that, do you really think he would have needed all the counseling that it would have affected his gut the way that it did? The effects of the drugs were insidious. You think everything is normal, but in reality, the wiring of your brain is compromised. I learned my lesson and I'm not prepared to encourage others to risk their health. And so if Eddie is your hero, the man you look up to, guy's got over 3 million followers on Instagram alone. And so if you're looking up to Eddie, what is in fact his message? Yeah, he preaches to eat a healthy diet and so on, but really dig deep. He's saying don't use or abuse steroids. Don't use performance enhancing drugs. And why? Well, look what happened to him. He appears healthy on the outside, but remember, he had to go to counseling and he says these have got many scars that you cannot see. Perhaps they're mentally, perhaps they're in his organ health and so on. We don't know what his blood work says. We don't know how healthy he is. This is my personal decision based on my experience. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone. I believe in destiny and I know I'm supposed to use the knowledge again to help people. He's saying change your diet, eat healthy. Of course, do that. I'm sure he also knows it's important to do cardio. But what's also important and not to forget is to not lose sight of the fact that if you're chasing the dream physique, getting to Olympia and so on, and if you have to use or abuse steroids, then it's not worth it. I am still in the process of self-healing after decades of bodybuilding. He's still in this process. He's in his 60s. He hasn't used steroids for seven years, yet is still in recovery. That is my reality. I don't expect anyone to understand. I understand it. I also abused steroids for over 10 years. Think of it, I also was a professional bodybuilder. Not as good as Eddie, but of course I understand what it takes to be at that level. To abuse steroids. And so you might be thinking, yeah, you guys are old. We were once your age. We were once 15, we were once 10, we were once 20. And so we know what it's like to have gone through exactly what you're going through right now. There is life after bodybuilding. Make sure it's a healthy one. Not everyone gets to live that life. Many people, it ends it. Some people are lucky. They have amazing genetics. They can use steroids and somehow they get out of it unscathed. They are lucky. But remember, you won't actually know that until you're gone. For example, I think or I hope that I didn't do much damage. But what if I die tomorrow? People making videos, Coach Greg, oh my goodness, look what happened. He was only 48. How do I know that I'm actually healthy? The blood work might say one thing, but in reality, perhaps it's something else. We've seen many people die early death. I don't need to name all their names but you know they're out there. And so would you want that happen to you? Make sure you're not dead before your time because there have been too many deaths recently. And so the sad reality is when he makes videos like this, really important videos that I respect, that all of us should respect, do you know what you get? Well, as of right now, under 4,000 likes and comments 159. But when he makes a post, everything is sugar, that post right there, one that's completely ridiculous, that doesn't make any sense, that I don't even think he believes, 88,000 likes and nearly 6,000 comments. And so what do you think the algorithm is gonna show you? It's gonna show you the BS, the nonsense, the post that shouldn't be even there. And so what do we think? Well, we think Eddie Abu is the guy that says, this is shit, wake the cookbook up. But the problem is the good messages that he has are being outweighed by the bad. Hence, 70% of what he says is nonsense. If he only spoke about the 30%, we'd say, wow, what an amazing guy. But the problem would be no one would have heard of him. You wouldn't know who he is. He'd be some old grandpa, oh, 61 years of age, some former bodybuilder. You wouldn't even know he was a bodybuilder. And so what do you think Eddie Boo is thinking? He's thinking the only way to reach my massive audience of over 3 million people on Instagram 
is to make ridiculous posts. It's gonna go viral. And he does that because then he can make another video saying, don't use steroids. He can open up. And so he's finally come clean. The problem, the sad reality is you get famous by saying a bunch of nonsense, by saying the exact opposite of what is true. Well, look at Sam Sulik, originally got famous on TikTok, making videos saying you need to ego lift in the gym, not to listen to anyone smarter than him. Y'all forget that because now he speaks and he makes sense. And so when you watch my videos, you're thinking, oh, he's just drama. All he does is put people down. Do I really? Have you watched all those videos? Because if I were to pick my top 1,000 videos, you would say, I can't believe how nice this guy is. But you're not shown those messages or you don't click on it. You're clicking on natty or nots. You're clicking on perhaps drama videos and you're forgetting about the message that I'm sharing. Messages of not abusing steroids, to eat healthy, to get exercise, to care about your mental and physical health, but you don't watch that. And so hopefully you've watched this video till here that you're still listening right now and you've heard Eddie Abu's message, which is don't use steroids. Because if you do, it's a very slippery slope, very dangerous. And you may in fact live to regret it if in fact you live at all. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, like the video if you liked it. Remember, if you're trying to stay natural, there are natural supplements that can help. For example, GO2 Max for cardio, Turk Builder and Ecti Builder to help you build muscle. Of course, creatine, it's actually 50% off on the website. We have so many other things like my freaking cookbook. I don't want to show it to you. I hate doing this all the time. We have other supplements like the protein powders, the pre-workouts, the beta alanines, the Delta Sleep. We have everything on the website. And if you enter code Greg, you're going to save yourself 15% off. If you have no money, get a loan and buy everything. I'm just kidding. You can get free dieting training program. It's close to 50 pages on my website. Also become one of the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers so you can find out what's going on, savings, sales, all kinds of stuff. And until next time, I am out.